Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our show brought to you by Tenova Healthcare. And guys, of the about 20,000 men between the ages of 25 and 54 watching the show right now, 3,300 of you, one in six, will develop prostate cancer at some point in your life. One in six men. Now, that is a cancer that can be beaten if you catch it early, which is why I want you to go to Tenova.com right now, or today, Tenova.com, click Medical Services. That's where you're going to learn more about their Men's Health Center of Excellence in terms of prostate cancer, catching it, beating it. No one is better than Tenova Healthcare. They saved my life. They saved the life of my father. Uh, they've worked with friends of mine. Uh, they do a tremendous job, and the Men's Health Center of Excellence uh, does a great job of walking you through the process, step by step, alleviating the fear, answering questions. Go to Tenova.com, click Medical Services, check it out for yourself. Tenova Healthcare. All right, welcome to the next two panelists. We have Mike Strange of the Knoxville News Sentinel right here. We have Chuck Cavaliers right there of Southern Golf Central. Su Su Southern Golf Central .com. Yes. <laughs> you know, I only say that 18 <laughs> times, so I'm, I can't believe I don't remember. Don't remember. All right. Uh, this uh, this month, leading up to spring football for Tennessee, we are kind of doing two previews per show. Today, we're going to start with special teams. I want to put up a graphic here. All right, we're looking at special teams, as I say. First, I want to know what's your grade for 2014 for the special teams at Tennessee. And just to give you an idea, they were number two in the SEC in punt and kick coverage, both. Real good coverage teams. Mm -hmm. Six and seven, middle of the pack in punt and kick returns. You know about their punting and their field goals, Aaron Medley. What grade do you give them for last year very quickly? Special teams. I'll give them C+. Plus. Uh, I just don't think the return game was good enough to elevate it above that. Okay. I'm going to C+, plus too. Uh, although the coverage units were really good, but they didn't get much out of the return units. Uh, Medley was okay as a field goal kicker, and Dar was okay as a punter. Mike? I'm going to give them a B minus minus just to be different. <laughs> <laughs> Emphasizing that good coverage. Okay, very good. Next question here, simply, will they be better or worse in 2015? Medley's back. you got to find a punter. I'm going to go better because I, I think Medley's going to be better. I think the return units with Sutton and Barry are going to be better. You've got more athletes, which means you would think your coverage units and more depth, so your Super. coverage units should be about as good. You're losing your punter, but I still think the others make up for it, so I'm going to say better. Yeah. Dar was very inconsistent. Very he got better as the year went, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to say better, and you just don't want to see a Dylan Bates or somebody get hurt on the putt to, uh, kickoff team. That's how he got hurt last year. Yeah. I think they'll be a little better uh, because, for one thing, I think the offense is going to be better. I don't think you're going to have to punt as much. Matt Dar almost led the nation in punt attempts, so I, I don't think the new guy will have to punt that much. So I think they'll be a little better. And that leads us to the big question. Um, will special teams – be a strength or a weakness. And there for a long time, especially during the Dooley years, you could say special teams a weakness. Mm -hmm. I think under Butch Jones, they immediately turned around and became just, a, it was an average. It, you, you didn't win or lose. Last year, I thought it was a little bit better. Uh, I think it could be a strength wow. this year for this team. But again, you've got to find some return game. I think you're right. That they're onto something. Punting is going to be huge. And you need Medley to be consistent. And as we all know, Kickers, kickers yeah. are kind of like the UT basketball team, up and down. <laughs> so, will this be a strength or a weakness for Tennessee this year? I say moving in the direction of a strength. I'm going to go strength too because I think they're going to be about a B, which to me would be a strength of a team if you're above average. So, I'm, I'm going to go with strength. And certainly, I don't think it'll be a weakness. Yeah, I, I don't think there's any reason to think that this, these, this good coverage is going to get worse. I think that's just Butch Jones and his staff's going to be good mm -hmm. at that. Uh, Medley was pretty good. Maybe he's, you know, a little stronger. And I thought Evan Berry really brought some pop to the kickoff yeah. returns late in the year. Every, you know, every season is, even a David Cutcliffe, he's going to have a year where they don't pass as well. I mean, you have years where it doesn't go your way. But in general, after seeing Butch Jones for two years, I think you have to like the fact that he must, the way he emphasizes special teams and mm -hmm. the way they play special teams. I don't know that, I don't know that confident is the word at this point because, again, it's two seasons, and there's, there's another one we got to look at. But I do think you're starting to feel a little bit better about special teams as a whole under the Butch Jones regime than certainly you did over the previous True. group. Oh, definitely. Yeah, and team speed is a big part of that. And they, they yeah. do spend a lot of time on it. Like other coaches have spent time on it, too. But I like what they have done with the, with the emphasis that they put on it. 
And a part of it is identifying who's good on these special teams for coverage units, and I think they've done a good job of that too. And Chuck, I think you're, you just hit something right there. You're also recruiting a better, better mm -hmm. class of athlete. You're getting athletes back over there. You're getting team speed back over there, and that trickles right down to your special teams where these guys are getting the first taste of action. Mm -hmm. And that's your, your first best chance to get on the field. Yeah, certainly. All right, guys, when we come back a little bit later, we're going to talk about the offensive line. We're going to save some time to talk about the offensive line uh, because that's probably your most glaring question mark of the offseason. However, when we come back, we're going to take a look at the SEC tournament bracket. Is there any way in the world Tennessee could play itself into the NIT bubble, onto the NIT bubble? We'll ask NIT Selection Committee member Don DeVoe when we come back on The Sports Source. Quality. Quick. Trust Fast Frame. 